What's going on everyone? I'm Sir James coming to you guys with another video and for this video I have an update for you guys regarding my early copy of Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag and of course there's a couple other things I want to talk about in this video but let's go ahead and get the most important part out of the way which is Assassin's Creed 4. So pretty much I have good news, bad news and more good news. The good news is that Ubisoft did send an early review copy and it is over right now at Gamer Fusion HQ. The bad news is by the time they received the package, it was too late to send out through FedEx, meaning I won't be able to get it tomorrow, which is unfortunate because there's a lot of work I need to do on the actual game itself, such as the walkthrough, review, all the collectibles, all the upgrades, the multiplayer, uh, yeah, just a crap load of stuff to do in the game. So it's going to be my big assignment for uh, Gamer Fusion this year. But anyways... Uh, the other good part is that I'm still going to get it early, just pretty much one day early. So I will have it on Monday morning for you guys to unbox. Now, in terms of am I able to make the videos in terms of the actual walkthrough live on Monday, I won't know yet until actual Monday because I might have an embargo, meaning I might not be able to upload videos until the actual release of the game. But I have to wait to find out. I know there's a lot of people uploading early gameplay uh, videos for it, but like I said, I don't know right now if there's an embargo that Ubisoft has for or not so uh, i have to wait until then hopefully ubisoft will say hey go ahead you could upload the videos right now i mean the game's coming up tomorrow go right ahead hopefully that's the case that way i don't have to worry about you know making a time schedule and having it uploading publicly while i'm at the minute launch picking up battlefield 4 so uh fingers crossed about that so that's pretty much that like i said gamer fusion does have it i will receive it on monday that's the update i got today so that's great news right there so anyways, uh, the next part I want to talk about is that a lot of people have been bugging me about a room tour video or an update room tour video that is. Well, the good part is that I did receive my Batman Arkham Origins Collector's Edition today. I found a spot for my Joker statue and I had to rearrange a few things. And I know there's a lot of new subscribers who have not seen my room. You've only seen this portion right here, this back portion, and even right above where I have some of my statues. The Joker statue's not over there, it's over here. This is the known area that you guys know of, and of course the green screen over there as well. Um, but I will do a room tour video for you guys tomorrow, so definitely check that out. There's a few sections I need to clean up still, which is pretty much right there. You guys could see right here in this section. I need to clean that up in one more spot, but other than that, um, yeah, I rearranged some things, and it looks pretty cool. Furniture-wise, it's going to stay the same because I can't move it anywhere anyways. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys look forward to my room tour video. I have a lot of cool stuff to show you guys. I'm pretty sure you guys want to see how organized my workspace, basically my job section is. So, um, definitely stay tuned for that tomorrow. And of course, if you guys recall, I did do an unboxing of the Batman Arkham Origins Collector's Edition. If you have not seen my unboxing video, definitely check that out. It's up on my channel. It's a like a 28 minute video. I basically went to deep detail of every single item and I had gave you guys a closer look and HD of all the items towards the end of the video as well, including the statue, which is uh, really awesome by the way. I've been playing the game for a few hours now. I'm really enjoying it. I heard there's a lot of people that didn't like it for some re reason. I think that most people are seeing the graphics, um, but I mean, I don't know. I'm enjoying the game. There's nothing that bothers me. I mean, the upgrade system is a little bit different. I think I like the upgrade system the way it was in Arkham City, my, my personal preference. Um, but so far, I'm enjoying it. You got the same mechanics. Of course, you got a different Joker, uh, different Batman in terms of the actual voice actors. Um, but, but so far, I'm enjoying it. I have no complaints for it. And of course, one uh, minor update, or I guess not really an update, just something I had in mind. All right. Let me grab the files for you guys. If you guys recall all that paperwork that came in, you know, like the Batman Wanted poster and the big files that had uh, basically info on each of the different assassins within the game. Well, pretty much because I don't want these to get ruined. So what I'm going to do is to, tomorrow I'm going to buy one of the small black folders. Um, hopefully the one that has like the plastic in the front so you could put like something there so basically in the front of that folder will be this inside the sleeve then in the inside i'm going to have a bunch of these or new ones because this one's an old dirty one um, but you know where i could put the pages inside and basically the folder will open up you could see all the contracts um and, you know, all the assassins within the game that way the papers don't get ruined and i checked and this actually does fit uh, in it, which is really nice. 
So I'm going to have a folder. I'll probably show you guys that tomorrow if you guys want to lay up to you guys. Um, but just an idea. So for those of you who have the collector's edition and you have all the paperwork, that's something that you could do. Because I don't really have a spot. Because if I put it somewhere in my room, I have a feeling that I may put something on it. Or I may damage it by accident. So that's the best way I could come up with in terms of protecting all the paperwork for the actual edition. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much that. Like I said, I'm loving the game. I'll have Assassin's Creed on Monday for you guys. Monday night, I'll attend the midnight launch. I'll pick up my copy of Battlefield 4, which I'm getting for the uh, PlayStation 3 because I don't have Xbox Live currently. I'm probably going to wait to Black Friday to see if there's a deal for an Xbox Live card. Um, but yeah, definitely look forward to that one as well. Unboxing of that and, of course, some gameplay throughout the week. Gameplay for Battlefield will be kind of slow because my main number one priority is Assassin's Creed. I want to try to finish up Skylanders today. I mean, not today, uh, this weekend because I'm playing Batman today. Um, hopefully get a Valhalla Knights 3 video this weekend as well. Uh, I know I said I was going to do some Black Flag. Blah, blah, blah. Losing my voice here. I did promise you guys that I'm going to have you guys covered in terms of Black Friday ads. I want to have hopefully a couple videos maybe tomorrow. But then again, I don't want to overload you guys. So maybe Sunday. I'll have a couple Black Friday ad videos because so far in terms of Black Friday, the only ads that have been leaked so far is I believe only GameStop. So once the Best Buy ads come out, Target, Toys R Us and all that, I'll have you guys covered in terms of deals for video games. And then I'll have you guys like link to the actual full ad in the description down below for whichever video topics I'm going about. And I'm also going to have it kind of organized to where... Um, let's say I'm doing an ad for Target. So instead of making one big video of all the video game deals, it's going to be organized to where, okay, here's the deals happening at Target for Black Friday for PS3. Then another video will be like the PS4 and then the 360, Wii, and so all that fun stuff. Or maybe just Sony, Microsoft, and Nintendo make it more easier like that. I don't know. Uh, but anyways, that's pretty much something to look forward to. This video actually turned out longer than I wanted it to. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and jump back into Batman. And speaking of which, uh, this game does have multiplayer since EXP is covering the actual main walkthrough for the game, which means I don't really have time to do the walkthrough for this game. Um, do you guys want me to do some multiplayer commentary videos for the game? Uh, let me know in the comment section down below. Anyways, that's it for this video. If you guys have any questions, once again, feel free to leave that in the comment section down below. And uh, see you guys tomorrow with my room tour video and maybe even some Batman Online multiplayer action. Peace.